What's going on YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. I have to praise Sledgehammer Games and even Infinity Ward here for creating something special for the Call of Duty community in regards to the camel grinds for the last two games. Now it's not something that I personally invest time in necessarily, but I will say that as I peruse through Twitter and through Reddit, I see the number of people who actually take these camel grinds seriously and work tirelessly to earn them. And I credit them 100%. Good for you putting in all that time and effort to achieve this feat. It's an accomplishment that you deserve because it's a time investment and it's awesome. And when we talk about player retention numbers in Call of Duty, it's interesting that player retention doesn't directly correlate to new battle pass content. Instead, what retains players is rewarding challenges like these. The camel grind in both Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 did more for player retention than any battle pass Call of Duty has ever had. That might be an egregious statement, it might even be incorrect, but that is my personal belief. Because I look at the incentive that it gives players to grind the game, to achieve something that they want that is attainable, and they do it. And this community has done it for decades. If they see something that is attainable, they will go after it and get it. And there's no shortcuts to the camel grind. There's no easy way to do it, unless, of course, you want to pay for a modded lobby. But for the majority of this community, they're willing to do it legitimately. They're willing to go through the excruciating process of leveling up every single gun, earning every single camel for every single gun, and just playing this game. Like, good for you. That is a massive time investment. Why isn't there more of this? I get that there's paid content and I'm fine with it. I can live with it. But there needs to be more of this. There needs to be more incentive for the player to play. I know I've touched on this before. But it just became so evidently clear with the way players were pouncing on the interstellar grind that there needs to be more of this in Call of Duty. You want to retain players. You want to keep players playing for longer. And you believe that keeping players playing for longer will correlate to more revenue down the road then guess what? Create more incentive to make players play longer. And that's not just through the battle pass grinding. That's through specific challenges similar to Interstellar. Why isn't there an Interstellar operator camo where you complete certain operator challenges for each default operator in the game and then that'll earn you this specific skin for this specific operator on this specific team and then you do it for the other operator on the other side and that's what you do. Maybe there's individual grinds you can go on to earn specific calling cards and emblems. Something that you can show off that showcases the amount of dedication and hard work you put into the game. Anytime that I see somebody using the interstellar camo in Call of Duty, I immediately know that person has more dedication than me and they deserve to show that off every single time. And if anything, it makes me want to grind for it because it, the camo itself is pretty awesome, I'll admit that. But it's also this like point of pride. Never once have I been killed by any operator in this game, whether it's a rapper, an animal, or a superhero, and think to myself, wow, I'm going to go spend $20 on that bundle. No, that's just not something that occurs to me. But something that is actually earnable and attainable, guess what? I'm going to put the time and effort into that. And if all Call of Duty cares about is the metrics behind the game, how long people are playing for, how long is each play session, are people engaging with our game positively, this should be their focus because I can guarantee you that, yeah, guess what? If players play for longer, it will correlate into higher revenues for your microtransactions. If I had more incentive to play this game for longer than 45 minutes to an hour, I might consider buying some of these microtransactions, but I'm not going to when the game can't retain me because there's not enough effort put into the game. One thing that kept me coming back to Call of Duty even months after a game's release was to continue to work on leveling up my guns, leveling up my character, and leveling up towards the final prestige. And unfortunately, seasonal prestiges have ripped away this original grind to the final prestige that Call of Duty used to have. And yes, some people grind way too hard right out the gate and it makes the game feel a little stale because they have nothing else to work for. But it's the same argument as people who complete the interstellar grind day one. What else do they have to work for? I don't understand the concept behind the seasonal prestiges. It, it just doesn't really make sense to me because it tears away some of that incentive players have to grind those levels to ensure that you can reach max prestige. 
It used to be a point of pride. And yes, anybody could do it. But that wasn't the point. It was the point of putting in that effort and that time to get to that. It was something that I did care about at one point in time because it meant that I was committed to the game. And that's what this should all be about is generating more commitment out of your player base to engage with your game for longer, to keep people coming back for more. And while I understand that the seasonal content release structure is intended to do this, I just don't think it does enough to bring as many players back as possible. I don't think it appeals to everybody because not everybody is going to get jazzed up about having to spend money again. Or let's say that they've earned enough COD points to just buy the battle pass again. I, I don't know if that drums up enough excitement to get people reinvested into the game again every two months to, to just dive back into Call of Duty. It might work, but honestly, I think a combination of the old system and the new system would work the best. Make it so that there is an option to do traditional prestige, but also go through a seasonal prestige of sorts where you're leveling up through challenges and through unique rewards that way. And I think that that would give players that incentive and drive to come back to the game to see what's new that they can earn. What's the grind for this season, per se? Something to give players a reason to come back. Because as it stands right now, we know Call of Duty can do it. We know Call of Duty has the ability to get the investment from their player base to grind in their game. We've seen it. The, the weapon camo grind is evidence of that. So how can Call of Duty transfer that grind into other aspects of their game to get that investment from their player base so that the players feel as if they're really truly earning something every time they play? Because I will be honest, the games where I've had the most fun are games where I have committed to the weapon grind. Whether that be Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, even in Black Ops Cold War, I committed to it to an extent. I believe that games that are able to attain that level of commitment from a larger source of their player base will have the ability to have more staying power for the long term. Right? That's what Call of Duty wants. They don't want to be a two, three month game anymore. They want their game to be as popular as the day it comes out to when the next Call of Duty comes out. I know that's a high expectation for them to have, but that's what they want. That's the whole point of the seasonal launch cycle. That's what their intended purpose is. I just love for the focus to shift away from, look at all the stuff you can buy to look at everything you can earn now. Look at what you have to earn. Look at the new thing you can grind for. It'd be cool if each season had something specific and unique to itself that you could grind for. And honestly, we might be getting that with season one with the brand new event that starts uh, in a few days, I think, or a week. I, I can't remember. Nonetheless, that's going to be exciting. That's something to engage with. Call of Duty just needs more of this. And, and I think that we're progressing in the right direction and i'm hoping that sledgehammer games continues down this path as it seems they're finally listening to the community and they're finally willing to adapt the game to make it better for everyone so i'd love to know down below in that comment section are you one of those hardcores that has already completed the interstellar camel grind or are you somebody that is currently going through it or do you stay away from it what would it take for you to get more engaged with Call of Duty? Let me know with a comment down below, as I believe there is enough space for all of us to enjoy this game. So, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.